and where possible, margin and performing state-owned corporations. As our reporter Shadra Karibia now reports, thousands of government employees are at the risk of losing their jobs in the process. This comes amidst financial crisis facing the government. <laughs> It is evident that the government is broke. This is as thousands of employees working at government-owned corporations risk losing their jobs as a result of the same. <laughs> Speaking in Akuru County, Prime Cabinet Secretary Musale Mudavadi stated that it is only 5% of the 75 commercial state-owned corporations which have been performing well and in return benefiting the government. All public corporations have an obligation to remit all statutory deductions, pay as you earn, NHIF, NSSF. Some of them have not been doing that. Mudavadi outlined the government plans of either restructuring or merging the non-performing corporations with those performing well with an aim of ensuring that they are self-dependent other than depending on the government for funding. That target. Only 5% of the 79 have been remitting dividends to the exchequer. Others have now become dependent on the exchequer. We must reverse uh, that, that trend. We have seen um, public servants losing their savings through some of these entities. The example of the state-owned corporations includes Kenya Revenue Authority KRA, public universities, Kenya Airport Authority, tourism, and Kenya Forest Service, among others. This comes amid his government and the opposition heated debate on who should be blamed, with the opposition vowing to oppose the government's plan. So, he brought it out that we all have to pull up our socks so that we can get out of that dangerous situation. Kuna mambo mengi sana ambaye wa Kenya walidanganywa na hii serikali ya Kenya kwanza. Wakatuambia kwamba hali ya maisha ita, 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 ita gharama ya maisha itakuwa ya afadhali. Lakini kutoka wakati tumemalizana na uchaguzi hizo ahadi zote tumepata ilikuwa uh, maneno matupu kwa sababu gharama ya maisha imeenda juu uh, Bei ya unga bado iko juu Shadra Kareria Look up TV